it happened. Mercury Bank is making you sign forms you don't know why. Clients are giving you a hard time demanding a W-9. You're just trying to open bank accounts and operate your business, but people are just making you certify that you're a U.S. person and provide a W-9, and I think it might be the death of the single member LLC. Notice I didn't say the LLC on its own. The actual LLC is great, but the single member LLC, things have changed. I think in 2024, I'm going to move most of my clients to a multi-member LLC. Now, what does that mean? What does this mean for you? If you have a single member LLC, that means that you're the only owner of a U.S. company, a U.S. LLC. It means if you're foreign, you probably don't pay taxes in the U.S. And this is who I'm really talking to in this video. To make it a multi-member LLC, all you need to do is add another owner, let the IRS know you're going to be filing different forms, and then file different forms at the end of the year. Depending on how much your ownership change, you might have to file a BOI, Beneficial Ownership Report, but it probably won't be the case. Most people are adding their mom or their grandma to be a 1% owner of the company and therefore basically making it a multi-member LLC. Now, and why is it important for 2024 and how do you do it? So I'm going to explain why it's important and then I'm going to explain how you do it in more, more, much more detail. So first, banks want to work with U.S. persons, the online banks, specifically Mercury Bank, uh, which is not a bank. They may, they're making clients sign forms saying they're a U.S. person. A multi-member LLC can be taxed as a U.S. person and files a form W-9 to certify its tax residency. The multi-member LLC is required to withhold taxes on effectively connected income connected with the U.S. trader business, but for most people that won't apply. That's why it's easier to have the multi-member LLC. Second thing, having a multi-member LLC with this W-9 form that you can give out, I have a video on how to complete that form, but that form says that you're a U.S. tax person. It makes it easier to get paid on the internet by U.S. clients. And I've had a lot of pushback, a lot of clients going back and forth about not accepting WABENs and wanting W-9s. So that's something that we've been uh, having to adjust clients' companies for. The multi-member LLC files a form 1065. And that shows the business income and expenses and potentially the equity. And that's better for getting investments, for selling a business, for getting business credit. That's better for a lot of things to show all those details. When it's a single member LLC, you're only showing related party transactions. You're not filing all of these details. And it also might give you an opportunity to prepare your tax forms in a way which is beneficial for you in your local country. So if you want to say everything's deductible when you file your return in the U.S., you probably won't get audited if you're not subject to U.S. taxes. And then you can show that to the, the whoever you're working with in Bulgaria or in Spain or wherever and uh, use that like this is my U.S. tax return. This is my income. I'll pay taxes on that. So it might be an opportunity for you there. How can you do this? Let me explain how you make your single member LLC a multi-member LLC. First, you need to complete a document and sign it yourself and assign a portion of your membership interest. You could say one share of membership interest to the other person who's going to own the company. It could be a foreign company. It could be your brother. It could be your mother. It could be your friend. It could be anyone. You need to assign them a portion of your interest, and that's basically giving them ownership of the company. You need to do it in accordance with your operating agreement, and if you don't have an operating agreement, you should have one of those too. You should sign and you have your operating agreement. It's really important. So you sign the interest to that person. Then we're going to file a form 8832. And we're going to indicate to the IRS that now it's a multi-member LLC. And that way the IRS will expect the form 1065 and we can file electronically. The next one is if required, you need to file a beneficial ownership report. And that's only if you're adding like a bigger member of more than 50%. And then the last one is file the right tax return at the year end. File your 1065 form at year end and you are good to go. So I don't think you should get rid of your LLC, but in 2024, if you're having issues with banks, if you're having issues getting paid because of the W-9 stuff, consider adding a member and being a multi-member LLC in 2024. And if you need our help with it, let me know. Right now, check out this foreign, uh, this Corporate Transparency Act video. All LLC owners need to comply with this. I made it for you. Check it out. I hope you love it. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for being here. Like, subscribe.